What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel today. We are taking a look at the new V Heroes tins for the three Evolutions here. We got Umbreon, we've got Espeon, and we've got Sylveon. Now, in the past on this channel, I have actually opened up these premium Evolution boxes, if you can remember these from, you know, a couple months back with the sweet, sweet promos in them here. The nice full arts there. And that one for Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. They're actually right here, back here on my shelf. Uh, if you can see those back there. We opened up these and we actually had pretty good luck with, uh, with those boxes right there. We pulled out some really good full art cards from those from, uh, I think it was the Flareon box, had some really, really good hits in it. Overall, I really liked the pulls that I got from those boxes. Now, on the other hand, I also opened up the tins, the Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon tins, and had an absolutely horrible, horrible experience with those. Didn't pull anything i don't believe i i think i recorded the video didn't make the video because i was so negative and upset with the pulls that i got from it i don't believe there was even a hollow from any of these tins so when these were announced and released i was kind of on the fence about whether about whether or not that i would even get these those are not the only product that we're going to open up today i've got some other booster packs and some um, blister packs from the store that we're going to look at as well so let's go ahead and get into this opening. All right, so here are our Evolution V Heroes tins. And I'll go ahead and I'll flip this over onto the back where you can see all of the backs are the same. You get the foil promo card featuring one of the three Evolutions there, five Pokemon uh, booster packs, and a code for the TCG online game, which I will be giving out because I don't use them. I give away codes in every single video that I do. I personally just don't use the codes, and if you all can use them, go ahead, why not? However, this is not the only thing we're opening today. We're also going to open a sleeved booster of each one of these sets, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, and Vivid Voltage, a check lane blister for Brilliant Stars, and then one of these bad boys with Vivid Voltage and Fusion Strike, and then our three Thunderous, Landorus, and Tornadus, along with that massive Venusaur coin in there. We'll open those up after we get done with the tins, and we'll just see what all our luck can bring us today. So let's go ahead. We'll start with, we're going to do, obviously, um, Sylveon being my favorite. We're going to do Sylveon last. But we are going to start with this Espeon right here. We'll go ahead and just slice open the back there. Get that out of here and open this tin. This is a nice looking tin though. I like the color combination that they've got going on here. Really, really nice. And the promo right here, if we can get it, get the promo out over here, which there we go. There is that promo for everyone to see right there. Uh, let's get that code card out. I'm sure everyone wants that. Maybe, I don't know, but there it is. So go ahead and grab that code card there. We will put our Espeon V into a sleeve. We're just go ahead and sleeve old Espeon up and set Espeon right up here where the good cards go. And then inside we do have five packs. I don't know if they'll all be the same, um, but we've got two brilliant stars, a fusion strike, an evolving skies, very nice, and a chilling rain. So the pack assortment, pretty good. I, um, you know, fusion strike is fine. Uh, chilling rain, I do like a lot of the cards in there. So we do have a shot, two, cha two shots at uh, some Charizards there. We got a shot at the uh, Espeon VMAX, the the Gengar VMAX, and that, uh, that Mew and Celebi V. Any of the evolutions in that, and then the uh, Blaziken or the um, oh the Alt Art uh, Zara Aura, the Alt Art Moltres, you know all those all the birds in that set as well. So put this back together just for right now. Set it over to the side, 
go ahead and get started. We got two brilliant stars, so let's start with one of them. Go ahead and start with the Shaman pack here. And if you want to, let me know down in that comment section how uh, if you know how stock has been for you lately. Because for me, I'm able to find things in stores again. Like it, it's there for a couple of days and then it's gone instead of just you know immediately disappearing as soon as it comes up gonna run straight through these we're not gonna do the pack trick because we've got a lot of stuff to open in this video we got spirit tomb purloin milstery shinx oh oh we've got us a trainer gallery that looks like it's gonna be an evolution or maybe it's the oranguru i don't know impidimp <laughs> it is that oranguru but that's okay what do we got behind it We've got a Clefable regular rare back there behind it. And there is that code card going out to all of you. We'll sleeve this thing up right here. Sleeve up our Oranguru as part of that trainer gallery. And we will move right along. All right, on to pack number two. We will get into Chilling Rain, or, you know, as some people like to say, Chilling Pain. It is a hard set to get pulls out of, but we're certainly going to try right here with a Galettes, a Porygon, a Grookey, a Mareep, a Rockruff. We got a Reverse Glade and a regular Glade. So we got that double Glade situation going on right there grass energy and a code card for you fine folks out there on the internet okay so next up we'll do fusion strike instead um you know i know people make jokes about uh chilling rain being called chilling pain but i don't mind chilling rain i like a lot of the alternate arts from chilling rain and uh let me know you know what your favorite sword and shield set is so far as of this recording astral radiance isn't out don't know when this video will go out i'm kind of lazy i'm getting videos out but astral radiance isn't out yet um my favorite set goes back and forth between brilliant stars and evolving skies i like all of the evolutions and the alternate arts in evolving skies i love the trainer gallery and brilliant stars so it's kind of a toss-up between these two it kind of goes back and forth day to day on which one i think i like the most though so this is fusion strike which i wanted to be my favorite because it's got mew and celebi two of my all-time favorites but uh it was very lackluster if you will um on on pool rates and just uh cards in general okay well got that so there you go there um you know it felt to me like a lot of the cards in fusion strike were filler um really just kind of a bloated set there are some good artworks but overall it just felt like the set was was kind of bloated now we'll move right into evolving skies here and see if we can pull any of the evolution uh, alternate arts or maybe even the Rayquaza. that'd be cool too we got cutie fly we got applin i do have the master set of evolving skies so it would just be really nice to get like an extra Evolution, one of the one of the big boys or Rayquaza, I don't know, somebody. We got Scraggy and we've got Duraludon V. Very cool. It's just a V card, but it still is nice to get a hit. So that is good. We did get the trainer gallery from that first Brilliant Stars pack. So before we get into our Brilliant Stars pack and finish up the Espeon 10, we'll sleeve up our Duraludon and we'll put it right over here with the V Espeon V promo card there and get right into this final Brilliant Stars pack from the Espeon V Heroes 10. And we start off with that howlucha all right send a weasel gibble we got a trap inch and executes a burmy so no trainer gallery here and a muck so we ended on a um a flop of course go figure that's okay that's kind of my luck with tens in general like i said at the beginning of this video i almost didn't even get them because tens to me uh with my luck are historically not worth it <laughs> that being said though we're gonna get into this umbreon 10 
and see if Umbreon can do any better than Espeon, which, if I'm being honest, like, probably has to because it's Umbreon. Um, I mean, you know, everyone loves Umbreon, so it's one of those things that just by that, you know, you get an Umbreon card. So just that alone means it's winning, right? I mean, that's how that's how it works. That's how evolutions work. So ultimately, the Sylveon 10 is probably going to be the best one overall. I'm just kidding, of course. All evolutions are fantastic. Every single one of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead, get into this. We'll do the same thing. It looks like we have the same pack selection here. Brilliant Stars, two of them. There goes one. Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. So we will start with uh, start with Shaman. We'll start with Shaman. We'll save Charizard. We'll save the Charizard pack. You know, Superstition. Superstition is fine. No big deal. Um, if we can pull a Charizard from a Charizard pack artwork, that would be pretty sweet. Um, I have no hope that we'll be pulling a Charizard from any of these tins, just given my luck with tins. So don't get your hopes up, basically. There's a Clefable Reverse followed by a Lapras non-hollow rare right there and a code card for everyone else. All right, now let's switch it up a little bit. We'll get into, let's do Evolving Skies next. We'll go ahead and just go with the banger set here with Evolving Skies. Let's start with this Rufflet here. Go into Lotad. Emolga, I love Emolga. Woo bats, Gossifleur, Ursaring, and oh, a Gigalith, non hollow, regular rare, Rayhan, and a code card. So let's go on. Um, let's let's go to Fusion Strike here with Boltund. Um, why not? We'll give Boltund his due. I mean, he got his own box now that we're gonna open eventually in a future video as well. So let's, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll check that out. Here is our Eevee. Hopefully we can pull one of the big boys from Fusion Strike or, you know, anything from Fusion Strike would be, would be fantastic. We got that Quillfish. There's our Landorus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Boom. There's that Cosmo Hollow Pattern Landorus. So if you want to do a full master set, you gotta get the alternate hollow pattern cards for your set. Maybe, if that's what you want to do. Here is our rare from Fusion Strike. It is... Oh, no. No, it's Electros. Oh, that's all right. Let's go on. Here is the code card, and we'll move in to Chilling Rain. I do take it back. Uh, Umbreon is not winning this battle. Um... Espeon is absolutely winning. I mean, with Espeon, we at least got the Oranguru and the Duraludon. Um, Umbreon has only given us the promo that we're guaranteed. So, uh, sorry, Umbreon. Uh, you are not doing so hot right now. You gave us a Grookey, though, so that's cool. And a Mareep. Sure. Snowrunt, why not? And, oh, that's, that's not... Umbreon, no. That's not gonna do it, my friend. That is not gonna do it. This code card may help people out out there but that's you're gonna have to deliver with brilliant stars we're down to the final brilliant stars pack from the umbreon 10 i will see if uh if this is uh if this is a winner i mean honestly the only way that this thing can win to me, would be a double banger, trainer gallery, and something good and behind it. I mean, we'd need we'd need something real, real good. So we got what? What? We might have something in there. I don't know. I don't know. I might be playing. I might be hyping myself up. That might also be the code card. I don't know. Star you, Carablast. No, there's gotta be something, right? I don't know. Clefairy. Cheruby. Oh! <laughs> All right. Okay. If I'm going to pull a trainer gallery card, this is not a bad one to pull. I like the Urshifu cards. I, I, 
the gold ones are okay. Um, I understand why they're in there, but these are my some of my favorite cards from the trainer gallery. So we got that Urshifu V, which is a good one to pull, and an Ice Cube. Okay, okay, not the best. Um, it's not even a double banger, but it's okay. It's all right. We did pull something from the trainer gallery, and it was a pretty decent pull from the trainer gallery. Like, like I said, if I'm going to pull, you know, anything from that, uh, I would rather pull this than, you know, another Oranguru. No offense, Oranguru fans, but... These cards are pretty sick. I like the Urshifu cards in, in Brilliant Stars, so... You didn't win Umbreon. I'm sorry, you didn't. But, uh, we gotta move on to Sylveon now. I am going to say that unless you really, really like the Evolutions and want the, a certain tin or a certain promo card, maybe don't spend the $25 on these. Um, you get five packs, and, you know, it, it kind of equals out to, you know, $5 a pack. And then you do get the promo card on top of it. So if you're into one of these three, Umbreon, Espeon, or Sylveon, and you want that promo card, maybe it's worth it for you. Overall, though, um, I don't know if, like, the quality of pools is going to be worth the money uh, or, or not. To you, obviously, you know, it's going to be down to preference. This promo, I love this promo. I like all three of those promos. Um, would I buy these three tins again? No, absolutely not. And I kind of sh wish I had stuck to what I had originally said about not not buying tins again after the other three Evolution ones. But um, I, of course, didn't. And I have really bad self-control. So I bought these three. If it's hard to find cards, I guess I could see it. But $5 a pack is, is is hard, especially for these two sets. $5 a pack for those two is kind of tough. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's all up to you, you know, personal preference. Let's go. Brilliant stars. Let's get into this thing. Have some more fun. Open in some more cards. Let's just do it. We know that the pool rates aren't very good. That's fine. Uh, at least from these 10s, we'll just open cards. Have a good time. Sneasel. Badoof. Blunder Policy and a Torterra Hollow. This is the first regular Hollow that we have pulled. So I'm just gonna set in right up there as a reminder that we pulled a Hollow today. So that's something we didn't pull in the other uh, Evolution V10. So it's all right with me. All right, now let's get into Fusion Strike. You might have noticed that it did jump above Chilling Rain in that uh, little cut there. Um, I did it and then sneezed and then had to redo the take. So let's get in to this Fusion Strike pack here. Start with Clam Pearl, Carvana, Smeargle. I love this artwork though, for real. I love it. Rotom. We got that Grubbin. We got Melmetal. That's a nice artwork for Melmetal. And we got, oh, another Hollow Rare right there. After we just talked trash about not getting any. We get two of them. Awesome. There you go. Code card. Maybe you'll get more than a hollow rare. I hope you do. Swing back around to our Chilling Rain packs, which we will be opening up a sleeved booster of Chilling Rain here in just a minute. Uh, hopefully we have some better luck uh, with the sleeved booster than we do the packs out of these tins. So, Brawly and a non-hollow rare saws buck right there. And that's for you all, like always, I love you. All right, let's get into it here. Um, let's, I mean, Brilliant Star is going last. I, today is one of those days where I think I like Brilliant Stars more. Um, it's just that, I don't know. Evolving Skies is really, really, really good. Um, I think the alternate arts and stuff in Evolving Skies are a little bit better than some of the ones in Brilliant Stars. Um, aside from that Arceus, okay, never mind. Arceus, Charizard, Luminion, and even, um, oh no, oh no, I'm spacing on it. Who is it? 
Honch Crow. Don't know why that was so hard for me to think of. Honch Crow. Um, those are good cards, but the I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Articuno and oh, a Hollow Rare Zygarde. We've pulled more Hollows from the Sylveon tin than the other tins combined. But I'm not gonna count those as hits. I'm just I'm not gonna. So we'll go ahead. We'll get into this final Brilliant Stars pack from the V Heroes tins. And uh, yeah, well I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these tins. Um, they're not very good. In my opinion, they're they're not very good. Okay, we don't have a trainer gallery, so that stinks. But we got that cast form and another ice cube. Okay, so we didn't do too hot on these tins, which uh, definitely lead me to not recommend you go spend your money on them. Now, obviously, you know, luck varies. Odds are always different between tins. Like this tin isn't going to be the same tin that you buy. Like the one that you buy may have that alternate art Gengar in it or that alternate art Blaziken or maybe even the Rayquaza. It's not guaranteed. But from my point of view, $25 for this tin, not entirely worth it unless... You love the promos, like you really want the promo of the evolution, or maybe it's hard for you to find the sets that are in these tins um, because some of those sets are getting harder to find. Like, uh, you know, Evolving Skies is not an easy set to find out in the wild. So maybe that makes it worth it for you, but overall, not a great experience on my end for those. And because of that, we're going to open some more cards right now. One of those sets is Chilling Rain, but we do have three sleeved boosters that we are going to open. We have this check lane boost, bliss, check lane blister right here with this big Pikachu coin. And then we have this thing. I don't, I have never opened these, but I saw it and I was like, uh, those are actually from the sets and I need to put those in my binder. So I grabbed it. And we're going to open it up Fusion Strike and a Vivid Voltage. So basically we're opening up two extra Vivid Voltage packs, which is always a good thing. And I just completed my Vivid Voltage Master Set, so we'll see what all we pull from that. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into Brilliant Stars here. I'll jump forward to where I have this open so you don't have to see me deal with it. Okay, so we do have our lovely little Eevee promo card there. I do actually really like that, and I am super looking forward to Astral Radiance three-pack blisters with the uh, with that Sylveon. That is gonna be fantastic. There is an upside down code card for you all. And let's get into this Brilliant Stars check lane blister pack right here and see if we can get anything better than what we got out of those tins. Maybe a trainer gallery? Oh, that's Acerilla's Premonition. Yo, <laughs> yes. All right, a full art trainer from that trainer gallery. I will take that any day of the week. That's fantastic. And then we've also got an Escavalier, but that's all right. We're not worried about that. We got that full art trainer. Those, those, I love, love full art trainer cards. And, and that's a, that's a good one to get. I mean, you know, why not? I just love it. Like the purple in her hair. It just, I don't know. I don't know something about this card. It might also be that it's just a full art trainer card and I like to freak out over full art trainer cards. Or it might be because I haven't pulled much of anything today. So pulling that feels pretty good. Not gonna lie. Let's do Chilling Rain's uh, sleeved, oh no, sleeved blue blooster pack. <laughs> I was gonna say booster and blister, but I said blooster. Blooster pack. These are sleeved blooster packs. Let's go ahead. Chilling, oh, ooh. that was really hard to open. Hopefully it means that there's a alternate art Zara Aura in here. That'd be fantastic. Squove it. Swirlix, Yamask, Cast Form, 
past form. <laughs> Can we get the other one? No, Cobalion. That's okay. No worries. And a Rilla Boom Hollow. Better than uh, better than what you normally get. So I am going to tear in to this bad boy, and uh, we're just gonna jump cut to where it's already open, so you don't have to see me fight with it because it's gonna be a pain. Or maybe I'll just fast forward it. How did this? How did one of these end up under here behind this pack? That's weird. And we haven't opened up any Vivid Voltage tonight, so that's that's kind of what I want to open up first. Um, you know, I, I did just master the Vivid Voltage set, and look at that. First off, we have an upside down card. So I'm kind of interested. I want to see if the rest of them are the same way. But yeah, the whole thing is upside down. So we'll just give it a good rotate there. Uchiena. We got Rockruff. Blitzel. Skidoo. Pharaoh Seed. Heroes Metal. And that Vaporeon Non Hollow right there. And a code card for all of you watching this video. Speaking of watching this video, if you do happen to be enjoying it just a little bit, um, if you could smash the like button and hit that subscribe down there, please. It, it means the world to me and it definitely helps out. Um, you know, makes me want to do more videos for sure and uh, helps me get into that algorithm because, you know, I'm not in it. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Grubbin, <laughs> Mankey. And a Corviknight. This was not a good two-pack. So there's our Fusion Strike. Oh, it was Fusion Strike. That, that makes sense now. Of course it was Fusion Strike. We are down to our final two sleeved boosters, and we are going to go with Vivid... Oh, never mind. Vivid Voltage first here. We got Vivid Voltage. We got that Ore Beetle right there. We are going to... Maybe get in there to open this pack. There we go. Is this a loosey goosey? Oh, yeah. That is a loosey goosey pack. Oh, yay. That's fun. Oh, it just, it does. It just separates. Cool. Yep. <laughs> That's one of those packs. Okay. So there's probably nothing in here. Let's go. Chessots. Clobopus. Skidoo. Shuppet the puppet. Riolu and. E-Drill, non-hollow. We are down to our final Evolving Skies pack of this video. Let's see what we can get. It's got that Sylveon art right there on the front. That's, come on. If we could pull a Sylveon VMAX alternate art from the Sylveon pack, oh, that would be... That would be wonderful. Let's go ahead. Okay. There you go. So there's that for you. We're just gonna, we're gonna do the pack trick for this one. One, two, three, and four to the front. Energy is lightning. Oh man, I was way off there. But hey, there's Lantern. He's lightning. And Ursa Ring. All right. Brustle. Swablu. Litleo. Tenjao. Okay. All right, Dino. Pump Kaboo, Claymation. Hop it. And we are going to finish this video with what? Uh. Oh my goodness gracious. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up this video on the new Evolution V Heroes 10s. If you did enjoy this video, please. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure you check that notification bell so you can see all future videos that I post to this channel. We are gonna be starting to do some pretty cool things here, around here, especially with Astral Radiance coming out. Lots of opening videos, lots of streams over on Twitch. Maybe some streams here, I'm not sure about that just yet, but we will see. Uh, we didn't pull a lot today, but we had a lot of fun and sometimes you know, that is all that matters. And until next time, everyone, thank you so much and keep pulling fire.